In this video, we're going to talk about the mid-journey seed prompt. And for seeds, basically the concept is that every prompt with a certain set of words has a certain seed. So to unpack the concept of seed, I'll just show you sort of how this works. So if I say just a prompt of goldfish, and I say seed one, two, three, um, and one, two, three is just 123. It's just a number uh, that represents an integer uh, between zero and, and this number right here. So it's it's not particularly important how, uh, like what your, what your number is. It's just a number that gives you the uniqueness of that prompt's actual generation and, and all of the logic that went into its generation. So I did... These are two specifically separate prompts. So this is goldfish under seed one, two, three. And then this is also goldfish under seed one, two, three. And that you see they're, they're identical. So the idea is that you could recreate or reference a seed if you wanted the exact likeness of a prompt and then its exact seed to happen. Now, if I go down here, you see I have this prompt where I said goldfish and then that was seed 4,000. Now, seed 4000 has some different goldfish generations. So, um, you know, it's the same exact word prompt, but it is a different seed. So, therefore, every time that I say goldfish, I get a different, um, if I do imagine goldfish right here, I will get something entirely different. Now, if I want to find the seed of a specific um, prompt and find out what its seed is so that I can copy the words and get the same output, I can go and I can add a reaction of envelope. And if I react with an envelope in Discord, then what it'll do is it'll actually generate the, uh, the seed information for us. And what's interesting about this is this will actually come inside of your mid-journey uh, DMs. So if you go over to your direct messages inside of Discord and then go over, you see I got this from Midjourney Bot. It sent me the seed details. So what I could do is if we just kind of remember this picture, like just all of, all of these images right here, um, what we can do is go back to our server and then reference the seed and then use the same text prompt and we will get the same um, Im or set of images. So if I go ahead and make this prompt right here and I say goldfish with seed of this number, it's going to go ahead and it's going to give me the exact same images that were in that other seed for that text prompt. So in a way, seed is like a unique reference to the um, algorithm's instance of creating that exact depiction of those pixels that you asked it for based off. And, and so the, the text prompt, it will it'll generate something unique every time, but the seed is what makes it sort of unique in itself. So I think you remember this guy right here, this kind of chubby looking goldfish. And here he is right here in my DMs for that exact same seed. So cool. I hope that was helpful to explain the concept of seed and what that does and, you know, everything about that. So um, if this video was helpful, throw it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.